Hi folks, welcome. Coming to you from the St. Rita Shrine in Chicago and so happy to be with you and let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And we pray in a very special way for all those on our prayer list. We pray for peace and unity in our country. We pray for anyone who needs prayer, anyone who feels they are not being prayed for. Let us pray for them. And of course, we pray for vocations, and this is Augustinian Vocation Week. So we pray for an increase of vocations to our Augustinian way of life. And we pray for all young people that they will listen to their call. And so we also pray for you. And we ask us, ask Jesus to be with us as we pray. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. What does it mean to give it all? What does it mean to give everything we have? What does it mean to give all our money, all our talents, all our efforts? What does it mean? And what is Jesus, what was he saying to his disciples? Is he saying that we should give up everything? I mean, I don't know how we, we can because we'd be homeless. We'd be, how, how could we do anything? How could we function? But I think what Jesus is saying is, don't hold on to what can keep us from being our best. And that is our possessions, our money. If all we do is look for how we can get more, how we can do more, and then we just give a pittance, that's not what Jesus wants. And what he shows us, and he was shown his disciples, is give it all. This poor widow gave it all because she totally trusted. Now, friends, I'm not going to hold you back if you totally are trusting and you're going to give everything away. But we do need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our families. But what can we do to give to help others, to help the poor, to help societies, help organizations, help schools, shrines, ministries, our churches that can help others? be evangelizers. And I think that's what's happening today in this gospel. We can't just give everything away, but we can't choose not to be controlled by money or possessions. And I think when it comes to my work as a vocation director, when we ask young people, are you willing to give up what the world says is important in order to follow Jesus? as a priest, a brother, a sister, a deacon, or a lay minister in the church. And as we have Augustinian vocation, celebration of vocations this week, and the reason we do it is because on Wednesday the 13th, it is St. Augustine's birthday. He was born in the year 354, and he lived to the year 430. And so on his birthday, we celebrate the fact that he was called, took him a while, took him over 20 years, but he finally said yes. And he said, yes, and look at what he did. He's helped change the world. And so friends, how are you and I giving what we need to give? How are you and I not being held back by money, controlled by money, by possessions, but rather to give freely? St. Augustine has a beautiful saying. He said, take what you need of your money and possessions, and the rest is needed by someone else. Stop and think about that. And so it gives us a lot to think of this week. So know that we are loved. Know that Jesus is so happy we're here. Don't give up, friends. Let us continue to pray for peace and unity. And 
Please uh, pray for me as I'm giving a parish mission at St. John Newman Parish in Homewood, Illinois on the 11th and 12th. If you're out in the Homewood area, come join us on the 11th and 12th of November. And let us please, this week especially, pray for vocations and let us celebrate Augustine. Let us maybe even have a special treat for him on his birthday on Wednesday the 13th. Have some ice cream, have some cake, go out to dinner, have a drink, and pray and ask Augustine to pray for us. And we pray in a very special way for an increase of vocations to our Augustinian way of life, to our, as a priest, a brother, a sister. And please pray for us, we pray for you. Know that we are loved, how good it is that we are here. And if you can, like the video, because it truly does help us evangelize. And we all need to be evangelizers. We all need to say yes. So my friends, have a great week. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.